Hey, it's Smithy from Soccer M, and I'm back again on the one and only Spurred On. And I'm going to have a bit of fun with this video. I'm going to tell you my top five Tottenham Hotspur Terrace chants. And before I get started, I'm your biggest fan, I'll follow you around the country. NASA, NASA, Chadley does not make the cut, it comes nowhere near it. Firstly, because it's a Lady Gaga song. What are we doing ripping a Lady Gaga song? And secondly, Chadley doesn't even rhyme with country. Here's your top five. My fifth favourite goes to the legendary player that was Pascal Chimbonda. What's that coming over the hill? Is it Chimbonda? Is it Chimbonda? All I love about this chant is that Chimbonda wasn't our favourite player. No one had ever seen him coming over a hill before. It was just such a random chant. Everyone sang it. We must have sang it all season long. That is my fifth favourite ever Tottenham Hotspur chant. Number four is more of an old school chant from my childhood days and it goes to our midfield maestro that was Nicola Berti. My name is Nicola Berti, I'm aged about 30, I came from a team in Milan, Inter. When I walk down the street, all the people I meet, they say, hey, good looking, what's your name? At this point, I'm thinking, what happens to the song now? It goes like this. My name is Nicola Berti, and he repeat the whole song again. And what I loved about this chant is it literally went on all game. As soon as you think it was stopping, my name is, we'll kick back in, and we sing it all game long. Big up Nicola Berti. Number three, walking on the beach is super Vlad Kirikis. Those little ch -ch -ch bits are important. And why I love this song is, firstly, why on earth do we have a song about Vlad Kirikis? He was a bang average player. We've had some great players that have never had a song about them, yet we had one about Vlad Kirikis. Also, has anyone ever seen him walk on a beach? No, me neither. Number two involved two players, it was very clever. Whoever wrote this song, by the way, take a bow, I love this. It was, we gonna rock down to Etienne Capu. He's friends with Eric Dyer. Firstly, I love this song because it involved two players. We didn't even know if Etienne Capu and Eric Dyer were friends. I've never seen them out together, having a meal, having a laugh, having a drink. We just put it together. We've since sold Etienne Capu and we haven't been able to find a player who rhymes with Capu that we can put in that song. Gutted. My favourite ever Tottenham Hotspur chant of all time is, of course, Oh, Ledley, Ledley, he's only got one knee. He's better than John Terry. Oh, Ledley, Ledley. Uh, I love it because it's factually true. He did only have one knee. I did think he was better than John Terry as well. Who do you think was the better technical player? Let us know, John Terry or Ledley King. I think I know what you're going to say. Uh, he was our captain, one of our greatest ever Spurs players. We still sing it now on the 26th minute of every Premier League game because he wore number 26. And that is why it is my favourite ever Tottenham song. Can I just say uh, huge apologies to the creators of Everywhere You Go, Always Take Lamella With You and Whoop Whoop, That's The Sound Of The Lorries, Whoop Whoop, which are both two fantastic songs that narrowly missed out on my top five, but fair play to you. So they were my top five Spurs Terrace chants. Let us know what you think in the comments section below. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel and check out at Spurred On TV on Twitter. And for more great football content, check out Soccer M's YouTube channel. Hi guys, it's Barnaby for Spurred On. This is your Thursday edition of 7 o'clock Spurs.